Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Hello and welcome back. Problem one dash sixty four. So statement is a vertical force P of fifteen hundred newton is applied to the bell crank. Determine the average normal stress developed in ten millimeter diameter of rod CD and average shearing stress developed in sixteen millimeter pin diameter pin B that is subjected to double shear. So you can see this is a bell crank force of fifteen hundred newton is applied at point A. So you have to find the average normal stress in rod DC and there is a pin at point B so you have to find the shear force and it is also given that pin B is double shear so let's solve this problem so for solving this problem we will uh, first draw the free body diagram in order to find the reaction forces at point B and CD so I will just mention the forces over here if you remove this support at point D or if the force in CD is uh, uh, like this in this direction so force in CD is like this direction I will draw this is FCD clear if you remove the uh, this pin support at point D so there will be two forces acting clear I will draw it one is at point B one is this one and the second one is in this direction so this force is by and this force is dx now you can apply this is a free body diagram you can apply the equilibrium condition so for equilibrium condition I will choose the first equation that is sum of all movements about point B is equal to 0 taking the counterclockwise movement as positive why I have chosen this equation because if you take the movement about point B so this force 2 will be their movement will be equal to 0 because it will pass through point B and we will only left with FCD and P. P is known so you can easily find FCD. Okay so the first force that is producing movement about point B is this force P and perpendicular distance is 450 millimeter. So P into perpendicular distance is 450 millimeter and that will be equal to 0 0.450 meter and it is producing clockwise movement about point B so it will be negative. The second force which is producing movement about point B is FCD. So FCD and perpendicular distance if this is the force so perpendicular distance will be this one from this point till this point and this is 45 so remaining this angle will be also 45 degree because these are vertical angles so this distance will be equal to this distance is 0 uh, 300 millimeter or 0 0.3 meter so this this is the high part in use so this distance will be equal to 0 0.3 into sine of 45 degree clear okay now the force into perpendicular distance is this one so this is 0 0.3 into sine of 45 degree their sum must be equal to 0 and this force is producing counterclockwise movement so it will be positive again if you solve this you will get FCD and this FCD is equal to 3181 3181 point nine eight newton now you have this fcd you have two knowns fcd and p and two unknowns so you can apply other equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along x direction is equal to zero and force in this direction is positive so you can see two horizontal forces one is fcd and the second one is bx that is acting so bx is minus because it is in opposite direction and fcd is again uh, in negative direction so it will be minus fcd is 3181.98 the sum must be equal to 0 it means that bx is equal to minus 3181.98 newton again you can see that bx is negative 
so it means that our assumed direction of bx is wrong and bx should be in towards the right side now we'll find the third force that sum of all forces along y direction is equal to zero and force in upward direction is taken as positive so two forces one is b y and the second is p that is acting so b y is positive because it is upward and minus p is downward their sum must be equal to zero so it means that b y is equal to p and p is equal to 1500 newton so so now we have all the unknown forces we have find out bx by and fcd now we will find the average shear stress that is developed in 6 mm pin diameter okay so for pin you can see this will be the pin at point b clear and since it is double shear so we have shearing force in this direction VB and sharing force in this direction VB. At point B we have BX and BY so for finding their net force we will apply Pythagoras theorem so FB will be equal to FB will be equal to BX square plus BY square under the root. So you can put the values bx is 3181.9 square and by is 1500 square under the root. So fb is equal to 3517 3517.8 newton. So this is the net force that is acting on this pin B. So this is F B. Clear? Again, it is given that uh, this pin is double shear. So shear force in this pin B is equal to F B divided by 2. So it will be 3517.8 divided by 2. So this shear force is equal to 1758.9 Newton. Clear? So what we will do is that if we are going to find the average shear force at point B or pin in pin B, so that will be equal to shear force divided by shearing area. So shear force is given we have already calculated 1758.9 in sharing area so for that it is given that uh, 6 millimeter diameter pin B so diameter of pin is 6 millimeter so if you convert it into meter so it will be equal to pi by 4 into 0 0.006 whole square So when you solve this, you will get the average uh, shear stress at point B or in pin B and this is average. This will be equal to 62.2 mega Pascal. So we have find out the average shear stress at point B. Also we have to find the normal stress developed in 10 millimeter diameter rod CD so you have to find this normal stress so let's move and find the normal stress so normal stress is equal to normal force which is FCD divided by area of that rod FCD is 3181.9 that is given and diameter of this rod that is 10 millimeter in diameter C CD rod so it will be equal to pi by 4 and 10 millimeter is equal to 0 0.001 meter square 0 0.01 sorry not 0 0.001 and 0.01 square so when you solve it you will get the average stress in CD which is equal to 40.5 mega 
possible. We will write average shear stress in rod CD is equal to 40.5 mega Pascal. So this was answer of this question 1-64. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned a lot from this video as well. Thank you for watching.